Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to October 2022, yeah? I hope you guys are doing well so far. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. Doesn't necessarily have to resonate for the month of October. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. And if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. All right. Um, I just did Ophiuchus' reading right before yours. Um, and I'm kind of hearing and feeling that there may be a little bit of a similar aspect to what's going on between you, uh, with you, uh, between you and Ophiuchus, um, which makes sense. You know, you're right next to Ophiuchus. Some of you actually are Sagittarians in tropical, but are Ophiuchans in true sidereal, which is the um, practice that I do for my astrology practice. Um, and some of you may actually even be cuspers. Um, and I am seeing, I saw purple for Ophiuchus. I'm seeing purple for you as well, but I'm now also seeing yellow. And for me, purple is an energy of higher awareness, higher wisdom, very high priestess energy. Um, but also yellow would be action taking action and you saggy you feel fairly confident right now i mean it yeah you may still have your moments of feeling a little shaky feeling a little um um what's the word i'm looking for feeling a little bit um self-conscious or maybe a little insecure but yet there's still this there's still a level of confidence. And maybe it's not necessarily confidence, more so, or maybe more so it's just the will to drive forward, the willpower to move forward. There may even actually be a strong level of determination to move forward. I do feel for some of you, there is very, a very strong energy of, I need to get the fuck up out of where I am right now. Whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally, determination determination to move forward is really what i'm hearing here and last month we were talking about um an energy that was <laughs> connected to that reading that i did gosh three years ago now because it was 2019 that august reading i mentioned it last month um, and I mentioned that there was something that it feels like that was connected to that time period or that whatever or just whatever there's something that you are all hmm? allowing yourself to get over or move on from i kind of want to also say there that it maybe i wanted to say you're able to move on from get over in a sense but really the message was allowing yourself to move on from that so i feel like it's connected to that so now at this point i feel like with that purple energy you've come to a higher awareness a higher understanding of something you're seeing something differently and now that yellow energy is that activation that action that determination to move forward okay regardless of how you may feel about it like regardless as to whether regardless regardless you're moving forward you're determined to move forward okay Let's get into this. What's going on for Saggy? Queen of Swords is your first card. Yep. Now, Queen of Swords did come out for the Ophiuchus reading. You might want to go watch it. Some of you will. Some of you watch both. Okay. Queen of Swords did come out. Uh, Queen of Swords actually came out as Ophiuchus, part of Ophiuchus's closing energy. And I'm feeling the same energy for you here. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no more time for deliberation. There's no more need for deliberation. There's no more need for investigation. There's no more need to talk about it, to hash it out, whoop de whoop and all that bullshit. No, we're moving forward. It is what it is. What's going on for Saji? Ah, there you go. Next card is the Six of Swords. You can't make this stuff up. Sagittarius, anything else? No, we're just going to leave it there. All right, Six of Swords to the Three of Cups. Interesting. Overall energy is the seven of pentacles. Okay. This may absolutely be a romantic situation. It might be a romantic situation. Quite plainly, quite honestly, 
This could very well be a romantic situation for you, Sagittarius, in which there was some sort of third party involvement. And what I'm getting for you right now in terms of that is, well, look, if homeboy or homegirl is running around on me or if these other people are more important to them than me, then I'm just going to need to move forward. I mean, it's not even about talking about it. And it's not even about trying to work it out either in general or maybe anymore. And it actually doesn't even need to be a topic of contention. Okay, because even, so, even though this Queen of Swords energy is very direct, very to the point, you know, is, um, is about her business, it all, what, the, the energy that she brings to this situation for you, oh, not Ophiuchus, I'm sorry, Sagittarius, the energy that the, that the Queen of Swords brings to this situation is literally it is what it is. And this feels like your alignment or what it is you want and or desire out of a relationship is different than what this person wants. If this is a romantic situation, maybe even a friendship. Black and white is what it is. I want a certain thing in life out of a relationship. You want a certain thing out of life out of a relationship. There's, there really is, there's no right or wrong here. But the reality of the situation is we don't align. This is a mismatch. You want one thing, I want something else. Great, let's allow ourselves to go after it and go for it and do what it is we do surrounding it. That doesn't mean we have to be attached and or associated with, attached to and or associated with each other anymore. And even though the Queen of Swords could represent communication, I don't even really feel like you're trying to communicate about this anymore. For some of you, you guys have been going back and forth on this situation with this person for the longest time. But now at this point, because of the higher awareness you have, Sagittarius, you're able to say, I don't even need to discuss this anymore. I know what it is I feel. I know what it is that I want. I know what it is how I'm in alignment with, what, or what it is I'm in alignment with, or how I am aligned. And so let's just do what's necessary. Let's just do what it takes to honor that alignment. And let's stop Let's stop blowing smoke up each other's ass. Let's stop gaslighting each other. Let's stop yanking each other's chain. Let the, let the, now. Now. Now, for others of you, this Three of Cups energy does represent some sort of social alignment that is more proper, I'm hearing. So the, the, the three, this, could rep this could be both things. For you, the Three of Cups could represent a relationship in which there was some sort of third party influence, whatever that is. And it could also, in terms of speaking of moving forward, moving on, the Three of Cups could also represent uh, associations, friendships, alignments that are much better for you. But you're only able to, I'm also, I also kind of just heard you're only allowed to realize this better alignment, this better social alignment when you leave a certain situation behind, when you move forward. Okay. Did I tell you that the seven of pentacles is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck? I'm not sure I did. There it is. Okay. What do we want to look at first? Three of Cups. What's, let's clarify the Three of Cups for, for Saggy. Yeah. Sorry, Markle is, as you can see, Markle is up there playing around with my computer. You better not be biting up, chewing on my cables, cat. I will skin you alive. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's go. Three of Cups. Clarify the Three of Cups for Sagittarius, please. First card is the world. For, for whomever it is that, for some of you here, the Three of Cups literally is the deciding factor. Or the Three of Cups energy, some sort of third party involvement, or at least some way that you have aligned with people, been associated with either a group of people or a specific person. This energy, this energy of being around like-minded individuals or not has been the deciding factor here that is bringing this situation, this cycle to a close. Three of Cups, please, for Sagittarius. Temperance. Seven of Swords. 
yikes. And then overall energy is the hanged man. You have been in this situation for a long time, or at least a strong amount of time, I'll say. And this really, what I kind of want to say for some of you here is the universe has been holding you here or you have been held and or stuck in this position, maybe even felt stagnant in this position, but it, that was only until you saw things from a different perspective. You got a higher sense of awareness. You became enlightened to the truth of what, what, really, what, what, what really matters in this situation or what the real truth, what's the real problem here? What's the real issue here? What's the real misalignment here? It's not because, and yes, someone may have, someone very well may have been lying to you, deceiving you, cheating on you, whatnot, whatever. Okay, but it's not really about that. What it's really about is this alignment you have, or the ways that you, the, the ways that you have come together with this person or with these people. In some cases, I'm feeling for some of you with this Seven of Swords energy here, maybe you have been lying to yourself about the truth of who you really are or what your true alignment is or what you really want. And that's been forcing you or you've been forcing yourself to stay aligned with individuals that don't match that energy with you. This could very well have been a lack of self-awareness that has kept you in a state of being associated with people that maybe, quite frankly, in some cases, you really want nothing to do with or you would normally not you wouldn't have anything to do with. And I think some of you understand that now that you have reached this change in perspective. But you have clarifying the three of cups here. You have the world, temperance, which is you Sagittarius, technically, and then the seven of swords. And this is also confirming the fact that this real, I mean, yes, there may have some been some deception here. Someone may have lied to you. Someone may have cheated on you. You have, may have been lying to yourself. Someone may have been trying to get away with something. Quite frankly, Sagittarius, you may have been trying to get away with something. And in that case, it does feel like you may have been trying to get away with lying to yourself or not being truly honest about your alignment or what it is that you really want or what it is you truly want to be alignment in alignment with or who it is you truly want to be in associated with in association with but again that's not even it that's not even the point the point is how do we find balance here it's not about fighting about this anymore it's not about arguing about this anymore it's not about trying to make someone else aligned to what it is that you want or trying to get someone else to heal or trying to get someone else to change no it's about finding balance here. Point blank period. That's all, that's really all it's about. And thus we act accordingly. And in, in terms of that, acting accordingly just feels like, okay, well, I'm just gonna move on. Six of Swords. Again, very strongly, it feels like Sagittarius, this really isn't even about fighting anymore. It's really just about it's real, sorry guys, it's really just about moving forward. Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords for Saggy. First card is the Ace of Pentacles. A new opportunity, a new reality, a new belief system, Three of Swords. A new start, the Magician. And the Six of Cups is the overall energy. So you're definitely looking to move forward from the past. And what I will say is um, in terms of or in relation to this pain, this heartbreak, this painful situation, this hurtful situation, it has, or from it has emerged a new opportunity, a new life a new start. I definitely feel like the Ace of Pentacles is an energy of starting over, but you're starting over in direct relation to or desiring to start over in di in terms of being uh, uh, in terms of what is di uh, in wow. Uh, your new start is directly related to the pain that you've been experiencing here. And so you desire a new start and so now you are taking steps to manifest that. And thus you're moving forward. Good on you. That's what I want to say about that. Okay. Let's clarify the queen of swords then. 
What's the Queen of Swords for, Sagittarius? The Nine of Cups. I just wanna be happy. I just wanna be able to go after what it is I want. I just wanna be fulfilled. And this doesn't have to be any, by anything major. This is mundane, day-to-day -day contentment, happiness, joy, bliss. This feels like releasing yourself from the burdens or the blockages that keep you from feeling this joy, this bliss, that keep you just, that keep you from being just happy. Not because you've achieved any sort of crazy big lifetime goal or not because you, you know, some big wish or dream has come true. No, just, just because you're, just for being happy. Just because. Feeling content. Feeling, I kind of want to say safe in your life. That's interesting. Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius, please. The Chariot. For some of you, or in some cases, or some of this energy kind of feels like you just being free enough to do whatever the fuck it is you want to do and not have to feel bad or ashamed by it. But it also, that energy is mirrored out to the other person or the other people that you have been associated with in terms of this. It's not about who's right or who's wrong. They're really, in reality, guys, there is no such thing as right or wrong. Everybody's got their own path. Everybody's got their own beliefs. Everybody's got their own desires. Everybody's got their own things that they want or need to achieve in this lifetime. Everybody has their own soul's path. And no one can sit there and tell you your path is wrong or my path is better than yours. No, it's not about that. And I think that's the, enlighten uh, the enlightenment, the change in perspective, the higher awareness that you have come to here which is causing you to not even want to fight this anymore or not want to keep up this argument or not want to keep working on it so that somebody else can change. Overall energy is the Eight of Pentacles. So clarifying the Queen of Swords, you have the Nine of Cups and the Chariot. All right, at its baseline, this feels like the Queen of Swords energy is saying enough is enough. I want to be happy and I want to, I want to follow my path. I want to do what is organically right and or, but specifically what I heard, I need, I want to do what is organically necessary for me to move forward in my life. And the only way that you're going to be happy in life is when you are in alignment with your soul's mission. You are taking action. You are taking steps towards achieving your soul's mission or it doesn't even have to be anything so crazy like a soul's mission it's just what drives you what is authentic to you what is organic to you how it is you move who it is you are how it is you are aligned what not whatever honoring that going forward with that this may come across as a little bit selfish the chariot energy can be selfish under the proper circumstances or i guess you could say the chariot energy is intrinsically kind of selfish but that doesn't always have to be a bad thing you could be selfish enough to just be honoring yourself your sense of happiness and quite frankly letting others honor their own all right cool if that's who you are if that's what you want to do like i'm not even trying to I, I, this might come with a twinge of judgment but i'm not even trying to judge you for it Go on with your bad self. Go about your business. Do whatever it is you need to do. Do whatever it is that you want to do. Do what makes you happy. Because I'm about to do the same, says Sagittarius. This overall energy of the Eight of Pentacles here, I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it with these three. With, I'm sorry, with these two, the Nine of Cups and the Chariot. Because underneath that Eight of Pentacles is the lovers. Gemini energy, sure, okay. Um, but it feels like at this point, you have done enough work. You have been consistent enough. You have tried and tried and tried long and hard enough for you to be able to be at this point to say, okay, what is my best goal here? Or what is my best option here? What is the best thing for me to do in life? The lovers, underneath the lovers is the seven of wands. To the hanged man again. 
choosing your highest good, standing your ground in terms of that in relation to the change in perspective you have gained. Yes, Aji. Yeah, 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 Saji. Did I get it? I was getting bit. Anyway. All right. Um, let's get your closing message here. Closing message for Sagittarius. King of Pentacles. Wow. Being very sure of yourself, being very solid within yourself. Knight of Cups. Very independent energy, self-sufficient. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. So this feels like closing message here. Ultimately, what is happening for you, Sagittarius, is you are... Mm, I feel like you're really at a point right now where you are gaining or have gained a hell of a lot of confidence in yourself or at least you've got enough to stand your ground, stand firmly in yourself, King of Pentacles, and to move forward with your heart's desire or to move forward in a compassionate way, Knight of Cups, towards your ultimate long-term goal, the Ten of Pentacles, which is, could be directly related to this Ace of Pentacles here that you are starting out with in terms of moving forward. You've got the truth, Sag. You at least know the truth for yourself, or at least at this point, you are able to find and or understand and or align with the truth of yourself or the truth of how this situation has developed. Seven of Pentacles is underneath that Ace of Swords. So you're like, okay, well at this point, Again, this is very similar to, to Ophiuchus's energy, so go, go ahead and watch that at reading. Because the King of Pentacles did come out for Ophiuchus as one of its main cards, the main messages here, okay? That's funny. That's actually really interesting, Sag, because one of the main cards that came out for Ophiuchus in the beginning was the King of Cups. And then at the end, one of the overall energy cards for Ophiuchus was the Queen of Swords. You guys got the Queen of Swords first, and now you're ending with the King of Pentacles. That's pretty interesting. Where was I going with that? Oh, um, and then the Seven of Pentacles, again, very similar to Ophiuchus's energy. It's like, all right, well, at this point, what do we really have to show for this? Where, where is this getting us? And I feel like the answer there is not necessarily either what you are dealing with is not providing you with what it is ultimately you've been looking for, or you're recognizing that if I want to get what it is I'm looking for, I have to go about it in a different way. And that's the truth that you are coming to terms with. And the King of Pentacles here does feel like you are settling into an energy of solidity within yourself, firm foundations, feeling confident in, enough in yourself or feeling independent at least enough in yourself to move forward towards your ultimate goal. Ultimately, what it is you want to have and or achieve, build, grow, develop in, or in your life. Okay? And that's beautiful. I'm gonna leave it there, Sag. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me a message letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. With that said, guys, I hope you have a fantastic month. I am sending you so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.